Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Abyss, and we return to Carnivore's Diversion, where we... The first episode was welcomed very much on the uh, channel, and we're starting this next week, which means we're going to be moving into a new map, although it's more like an edited map, because this menu picture might kind of clue you in, but when we actually get into the hunt, you'll see it more. This is an edited version of the Vengar Fjords map, like almost identical. There are some changes such as elevation adjustments and certain landmarks and features taken out, but the main base of it is Vengar Fjords. And I tried doing an episode before this, but I had this real uncanny valley and I wasn't sure, okay, is this just like a, like did they take some, a mod? or a map from somebody else without crediting it, and is Vengiar Fjords a uh, community-made map? But no, it is just the base one included with Carnivores 2 and edited and adjusted a bit to be a bit different. And then when it, speaking of like credit or that where it is due, I did also double check and uh, they did give proper credit for the, uh, I guess it's the Terror Godis? I think that's the name of the, basically the Yakelopterus model. It has been properly credited and it looks like they did get permission to use it in the mod as an ambient animal. So that's just making sure to give credit where it's due and everything checks out all right there. But if we do go onto the plains of Ekbertina here and things look suspiciously familiar, it's because it is just very much or very, very close to identical for Vengar, or Vengar Fjords from the Carnivores 2 or Carnivores 2 Plus. But everything's good here. We have the Maumoto, Maumoto, Maumuto Raptor to go after. A test of basic genetic modification between the Oviraptor and Gigantoraptor. Base genome from Gigantoraptor and aesthetic mostly from Oviraptor. The name Maumuto Raptor means monstrous thief. They, re they feast upon carcasses and will hunt smaller herbivores. Rank expert. Yes, yeah, so we'll try to get them for the trophy room and then maybe this week we'll kind of use the Actually, maybe I want to use these two in like each episode going forward, and then the final week on the last map, we'll definitely use the final roster animal. But everything looks all right to start, so we'll hop in and get to this new hunt. Okay, so we're all loaded in here now. I'm just going to see. Nope, started right by a tree. That's why I kind of went weird to a curve there. Okay, so we've gotten dropped off into the northwestern portion of the of the map. I just thought I heard something right off the bat. Okay, so far though, seems pretty quiet. We'll just kind of see if there's anything around us. Oh, sounds like there is something over this way. The first time I actually tried, uh, like the previous episode where I figured out or came in and saw, okay, this is Vangiar Fjords, I basically spent an entire episode without seeing or hearing a single of animal of the trophy roster I picked. It was like the map was completely void of them. So I figured that is not really enough content just roaming around a dead map or an empty map to make a video of, so I wanted to just get the clarification on what was going on with uh, Vengiar Fjords as they are, and then bring back and be able to discuss it so that way like there's no assumptions or too much guesswork in it. Okay, well, there's another ambience of the Tor Toranoceratops. Oh, there it is. That is our Rubia. Is it Rubiosaurus or is it Rubiosaurus? I can't remember. But we'll probably just use the anti tank rifle. And then the, uh, like, power scaling of Divergent really reminds me of Carnivore's The Middle Islands. Like, the one that had... I think it had, like... I'm not sure if it was named Oviraptor, but it did have something, now that I think about it, very close to the Mamuda Raptor for model. But it had that, it had, I think, the Baryonyx, it had the Thunderbird as its, like, bonus animal. And also had the souped-up weapon roster, where I think it was a missile launcher for the final weapon? It kind of feels like these two have that sort of similar power scale where it kind of curves and then skyrockets after a certain point. I think the rapid shotgun is kind of your breaking point where things all of a sudden just leap into huge territories of super firepower. Oh, 
I don't know if there's actually something down this way or not, but I... I'll try checking it out. But for how I was talking about how this is a, like, an edit of the Vengar Fjords map, or Ven Vengar Fjords, I think that's the best pronunciation I... My brain's cobbled together for it. A lot of places are basically identical with the layout in that. It's just that the textures and which, like, plant models are fetched for, to be loaded, have been changed or altered. There are still some very familiar places, like the Northern Lake that does have that cave to it. There's, uh, the weird, the weird kind of Triangle Lake you can see to the east of that. There is also, I'm not sure if it's meant to be like a volcanic peak or something, but that is there from before. Although, in the heart of the map where it used to be like the Desert Canyon Maze, that's been edited to be, oh, there's another animal. Oh, and, well, there's the Yakalopterus I was talking about that's been edited a bit. Ah, I don't get a good shot from here. I think it's called, like, the Terragotus or something. It's just you need to be... No, that was Pelican Mimus. You almost have to, like, look at the feet, because that's where the bino or binoculars register the thing. Yeah, Terragotus. Yeah, so it's been credited in the... Uh, I'm not sure if it's from, like... I don't think it's actually on, like, the download page in Tappa Talk. I think that's the forum where the mod is, where you can download and I've linked to. But in the mod's credits themselves, there is the names of, like, models and stuff like that. So I believe it has given the proper credits to the original designers of it. It's just that they've been retextured. Okay, well that's to the Rubeo Ceratops. But I'm kind of looking more for that animal we haven't gotten before them. Mamuda Raptor. Oh, there's another... Well, Pelicomimus is just stuck doing circles, so we'll just let him spin himself silly. And yeah, there's the Terragotus down there. Oh, another one there. I guess we'll follow the river inland. Maybe try to show off how, like, that... Oh, well, there's a Therizinosaurus. Yeah, once you get, like, the big firepower... It really just makes so much obsolete, like, the base pistol. The shotgun might come in handy as, like, a fallback self-defense, possibly the revolver too, but... Certain weapons just kind of get so outpowered that you don't really have a use for them anymore. Um, uh, see... I can probably swim across here. It does look like it might be a little hard getting up on the other side because of... Like, the more rock texture is usually a sign of where the land is super sloped and you can't walk that well on it. So we'll just get across, see if I can actually step up there. And I'll try to show you guys what has happened to, like... Well, you might actually be able to see it right now with how, like, the elevation is so far up and risen. Just gotta slowly, slowly swim our way across. There we are. Okay, we're out of there. Yeah, we'll get a little more into the the center of the map. And try to show that off. Now let's grab the shotgun, just in case there are anything, or is anything, around the outskirts here. Oh yeah, you can see it's been... kind of like hauled up. I don't know if there is any way into the very middle of the map anymore. Because this is all too steep to be able to like side hop or get on top of... without some other like means of flying. I did like a go around the perimeter and I... Didn't really find anywhere I could say conclusively I could get up into. 
I think the only spot maybe was if you can make the leap from here over in onto that ledge, but I don't know if you'll be able to. It does take a little bit even just finding the way up to try for that, so I'm just going to try once more and see if we can get onto that ledge. No, no, I don't think so. It seems like I'm just falling a bit short because I've got to... I think it's actually faster to move a bit diagonally. So I can't exactly look where I'm trying to go, so I don't know... Oh yeah, see that was probably the best I'd get, and I still wasn't quite able to get the nip or the edge of it, so... I'm just going to leave that be, maybe another episode we'll try getting into that spot. But that is probably the most noteworthy of edits, or one of the biggest and easiest edits to have seen to the map. The other one, we can try working our way towards, as we keep looking eye out or calling out for the raptor, is there used to be the abandoned fo uh, abandoned village or fort, and the dinosaur gate that was busted into. That's all been taken out. A Tyrannoceratops. Yeah, we've gotten a few of the trophy roster animals, so it's definitely been a lot better on outing than it was on, like, the episode where I just had my first taste of the map. Or I got to see it and had the uncanny valley feel of, I've been here before. It doesn't look the exact same, but I've definitely been here before. I think there are some changes, like, perhaps water level, because I don't think... I don't know if it was, like... More water in this basin or not? But we'll try working more along to the east. That way we can... Might even be able to hit the far eastern area, which I think was another, like, uh... Desert kind of gully area. Or region. Yeah, scared off the little platy high strix. Off you go. We'll just keep going and try to keep our eyes open for stuff. Also call out, too. Like, I don't know, I don't, yeah, see, as I get closer because of how 3D FX glide, you really notice when it renders things in more as they are supposed to be on proximity. And this all, I'd say, is too steep for the player to get up. So it was intentionally designed to block you off. I'm not sure if the idea was try to hide, like, the center of the map, so it's a little more... Seems a bit more different when you're, like, actually playing and going about. Whereas when you're, like, actually have the map up, you can tell it is Vanguard, or Vanguard Fjord. I'm surprised I'm having this much trouble getting this one animal. It might actually work out that we'll spend this week just trying to get this one and the Vitacadrindra. Probably butchered that name, but I'm the Vita, whatever it is. Spend the week getting those two, and then the final two animals we could get on the last map. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything, but we'll take a look over here and see what's going on with uh, this area. So yeah, it does look like it is still an accessible ravine. And maybe an up above will get a good view to anything that's stuck down in there. Yeah, really not having, like, any luck for... Okay, are there any other animals around this area? Nothing from that. <laughs> Nothing from that. What about the Brontosaurus? Uh, 
I think so. It sounds like it's just right ahead of us. So it might be stuck down in this ravine area, or it might even be up on top of that there. I guess that's just my footsteps I was hearing. And that's uh, another Tyrannoceratops. Oh, there you are. There we go. Yeah, with how slow he is and having to work uphill, really easy just to pump out a lot of shots to take it down. But still no luck on this last one I'm trying for. I'm not sure if it's just I'm having bad luck or it might be something with the map. Given this is like only the second outing on it, we'll probably try one more, maybe switch on that Vita Kajinda or whatever it's called, and see if we can get lucky with those. See, I don't think I've had any replies from that yet. Oh, no, we do have one. Okay, let's see. There's our anti-tank rifle. Oh, actually, I think that thing just took that. Yeah, I think the Mumudo Raptor actually took two of these before it was taken out. Uh, you know what, just because we can, I guess. So maybe this is also, like, uh... Probably more so mandibles than middle islands, because mandibles, once you hit the manipulator in the insect roster, well, trophy roster, I guess, still applies. Once you hit that species, you needed, like, the heavy firepower just to take on those animals. So maybe the Mamuto Raptor is also kind of like how that operates, where it's kind of your breaking point where you need the last weapons just to have the firepower to get them down safely. We'll find that out with more episodes, but at least we did get something to take into the trophy room for today. But that's as much as I can really see immediately around us, and I don't think I feel like going for a swim. So we'll go into the trophy room and take a look at this new one we just got, the... Mamuto Raptor. Okay, here we are in the trophy room, and it might be easier actually just to work from reverse order, because... Wait, there's you, but where are... Where's the Momoto Raptor? It should be... Like, the Brontosaurus registered, but... Oh, hang on, did it maybe fill in other slots? Yeah, that's what... Okay, I think you're still our super big one that we've had for a while, and it's just that this is such a tiny Titan comparison. Is that the case, or is that not? 13.72. I can't tell if you were st are still the same or not. I think so? God, you are just massive, however. But yeah, here's the Mamuto Raptor. Okay, it was actually would have been made... Should have just went along as I normally do. I'm trying to remember what it's named in Middle Islands, because I think this is actually a bit of a recurring model that's been used in a few mods. The texture always seems to get a bit stretched and doesn't fit the model that well, but... I, th I can't remember if it was called the Overraptor in Middle Islands or and went by something else. But it does look very, very similar to the animal from that. It might just be, again, another case of... Asking for permission to use the model, or maybe the model is provided as a base from somewhere else, and then putting a different texture on it. it kind of has the same feel the Therizinosaurus sort of does, where... The model's been stretched and tweaked and pulled a bit, so the texture doesn't sit on it quite like you want it to. But I think it does fit a little bit better onto this one than it does the Therizinosaurus. 
But they do seem like they might be a an animal we have to worry about as we keep uh, going through with them selected. Because if they did take two of the anti anti tank rifle shells, they're ones we'll have to be ready to use some heavy firepower with. I think we want to keep these two side by side because it is just like so striking to see how big they get, possibly at their largest sizes. Like I'll just take a look at this guy and see because I think he's a bit smaller. Yeah, you know what? He's a bit smaller, so I'm going to cancel him out and just keep that one. The one whose head sticks into the main center trophy area. But we still got quite a few slots, so I think I can probably keep what I've got right now. And next episode, we'll go back onto the plains of Ekbrachina and try to get the Vita Kajinda, or whatever it's called. The Carnotaurus-like dinosaur. But thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of Carnivorous Divergent. If you did like the video, you should give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should in the comments right down below. And until I see you in the next video or episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.